A fun fourth weekend turned tragic in Rio Rancho. Mm -hmm. And this is when seven people were struck by lightning during the fireworks show. One person was killed, others taken to the hospital. Of course, New Mexico traditionally has the highest number of lightning strikes per capita, of, per capita mm -hmm. in the country. And, and Mike, I know that's a big problem in the state. Well, it is. And, and yesterday we started to talk about some of the general uh, facts about lightning, but I wanted to talk more about the safety issues concerned with that. So, remember, if you're outside, guys, what do you think you should do if you're outside and there's a lightning storm? Get away from high places. Okay. Lie like down, that. you know, in the lowest place you can find. Get inside, I guess. All right. And what you really want to do uh, is, uh, there's a couple of things. One, you want to keep about 15 feet between you and the next person closest to you. So, so, so you really don't would huddle. not want to huddle. Uh, okay. The other thing is you would not want to lie down. You would actually really? want to get on the balls of your feet and kind of squat down so that only the balls of your feet are actually making contact with the ground. All right. So something to keep in mind there. Obviously, we all know uh, the lightning likes to hit the highest object or highest place around. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a, on a golf course, you may not want to stand in the middle in the open with a golf court with a golf club in right. your hand mm -hmm. uh, or a tennis racket if you're at a tennis court. Now, having said that, uh, you also need to be very, very careful and not run to places to get out of the rain and think that that's protection from lightning. If you can find, if you're near your house or near a home, that is actually the safest place to be to run inside too. And it's not because of uh, necessarily the protection from the rain, but it's because it has metal framing in mm -hmm. some cases. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is it also has the uh, set up, the electricity cables that'll run the electricity through it. So it'll actually ground it and run it to the ground over you. Same deal if you're in a car. If you're in a vehicle, a lot of people think that it's the rubber tires that actually protect you. That's not true. That's a myth. It's actually the metal frame that allows the lightning to strike and then run around it. So you don't want to actually be touching anything metal. If you're inside, you want to stay away from the windows. We've all heard this before. Stay away from the windows. You want to stay off the phone. You want to stay right. out of the shower. Stay off the computers, those kinds of things. Because, again, they are conduits for electricity should it strike. I actually had my sister on the phone, and lightning struck outside, and we saw a bolt of lightning come out of the phone. Yeah. So Whoa. definitely stay Whoa. out of the phone. All right. So there's some it. tips for you, and I hope they help. And if you have more questions, just let me know, and I'll pass those on to you. Okay. Great. Thanks a lot, Mike. Right,